All right, welcome everybody. Here's a quick presentation and overall of my level. So first we're going to go through our level design document. We have a level called Back in the Barnyard by me. So my presentation content is going to be including the level story, the level description, the mood board, a bubble diagram, top-down map with icons and legend, top-down map with paths and objectives, and custom mechanics, IPM, and references. So first, the story. The player is going to be a farmer at his ranch with chickens, cows, and a guard dog. The player may encounter hail ales and can choose to feed and water his animals, including petting the farm dog. The description is going to be it's a 3D third-person farming game. The start of the level begins in a barn, and once the player exits the barn, they can have a choice between three different paths, which they can go back and forth with. The first path will lead to a chicken coop to the right, where the player has the option to grab a sack of seed. Uh, it's going to pour no, it's a box of seed, and then they're going to be able to pick it up with a bucket, and then they're going to pour that into a chicken trough, or you can also go over to the cow trough. On this path, there's also a required objective of grabbing the gas can from the shed near the coop. On the second path, leads to a cow barn and pasture, where the player has the option to grab a bucket of water, again, previous bucket earlier, and you can fill it with water at the water well and pour it into the cow trough there as well, or the feed, depending on what you choose. Third path is the shortest and leads to a field, an open area where the guard dog is lying and walks around, and the player has the option to pet the dog. At the end of this level ends with a tractor near the end of the field where the dog is nearby. So some quick mood board examples. Uh, figure 1 shows kind of chickens flocking around their chicken coop. Figure 2 shows like a cow barn with a cow pasture. Figure 3 just shows kind of like a regular barn where the player starts out at. Figure 4 would of course be the guard dog. And figure 5 is going to be the tractor at the end of the game. Level objectives. So the main one that's required is the player has to go to that, ga that shed next to the coop. Grab the gas can and walk over to the tractor and fill it to finish the game. The three obje optional objectives is you can pick up the bucket and you can either fill it with feed, as previously mentioned with the feed box, or over by the shed by the coop. And you can obviously pour it into the chicken, chicken trough or of, you can go over to the cows. And then same thing for the bucket is you can also use that bucket to go fill it up with water and pour it into the cow or chicken trough as well. So those are the two optional objectives, choosing to either feed them with feed or water, and however many times the player would like to do it. And lastly, the third op optional objective is going to be petting the farm dog. Here's a quick bubble diagram. shows that the player is going to be starting in the empty barn on the left side, and then farmhouse on the bottom left, fields, grass with some fences. Yeah, you got a cow's cow barn, chicken coop, field with the farm dog, ending with the edge of the field with a tractor. Better top-down map is exactly starts here. You've got three separate paths, one going left towards the corner field where the dog is, down the middle with the cow, barn, and pasture, or to the right where the chicken pasture is with the farmhouse, shed, and tree lines surrounding. With a, uh, optional with the objectives list on there, you get the red circle is a required objective, the gas can. Yellow circles are the optional objectives, which is petting the dog, or the bucket for feed at the water well, or, or sorry, water at the water well, or feed at the feed box. And the black circles are showing the hay bale obstacles. Picking up and using item is going to be one of the mechanics. So you pick up the feed or bucket, or for the bucket, you can pick up and pour the feed with the bucket or pour the water. So frame one, player standing next to it. Frame two, pick, player picks up the bucket, and then they can go pick it up out of the well, and then go over to a trough and pour it. Moving hay bale, you're going to be seeing is frame one, the player's next to it, Player frame two, the player's going to be moving it, player three, the hay bale's going to be moved so you, you can access the area. And the level IPM chart shows you're going to have practice, introduction, introduction, practice, and mastery of picking up and using the item as you can use it several times, and of course the hay bale for each section of the level. And lastly, there are my references. So moving on to the Unreal level. This is be my level here, starting in the empty barn. Go up to here on this hay bale. Press E to interact as the HUD shows up. So I'm going to press E. 
and therefore moves the hay bale. As you can see, my cows are here in the cow pasture. To the left would be that that route for the dog, which is moving around. And we're gonna go here to the right where the farmhouse is, tree lines, and as you can see, a bucket. Press F to pick up. So pressing F, play runs over, grabs it. Go up to the water well, press F again, it shows. So I'm gonna press F, pick up the water. Water goes down a little bit. So let's go ahead and give this water to the chickens. I'm gonna press E with this hay bale again. Obviously, you can see all my chickens. So we're gonna go over here to the water. Q to pour, so Q. And there you go. That is how you do the water. And then you can go back. The chickens will move. Option objective number two, feed. So we're gonna press F. Feed's gonna slowly go down a little bit. This kind, of, let's go feed the cows. So we've watered the chickens once, and now we're gonna go feed the cows. Over here, press Q, and feed the cows. Now the cows have been fed. And now, of course, if the cows don't get stuck on me, we're gonna go over here, and maybe I want to go through this area. So I'll just move through this area. Another hay bale. Press E to move it. And let's go check out the dog. You know, I'm gonna go from past path one to path two to path three backwards. Over to the dog. Just moving around. It says press R to pet. So oh, and move it the way. So press R. There you go, pet him. It's so R, pet. It's R. There you go. He's getting jumped around because of my bucket. All right, so last to wrap it up. So we've done the two side object, the all three objectives. So we've done water once, we've done feed once, and we pet the dog. So now over here, the required objective, the gas can, which I'm going to press F, pick up. I have the gas can. And now let's head back over to the tractor. And starting from the beginning, we're gonna go over here, take pathway, the shortest path of least resistance. And here we are, Q to pour, Q. And there you go, game over. So as you can see here, you have, you can do quit, you can retry, game over. But you see here, hay bales moved three. So I moved the one at the cow pasture, and then the one at the back of the cow pasture, and then I moved one at the beginning of the chicken pasture as well. Then poured water, I poured water one time. And if I would choose to pour more water, I would that number would go up. Same thing for the feed. If I chose to, whether if I would choose to feed the cows or the chickens, that feed would go up. And then of course it will check if, well, I'm tracking here your, the data as well, is did you pet the dog, which is gonna be true. I did pet the dog. And that's it. That is my full presentation, including my level design document and my playthrough. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.